Insurgency has been a major problem in recent years and northeastern Nigeria has suffered the most. An estimated over 3 million Nigerians have been displaced from their communities over the years and several thousands dead. In 2014, the federal government then initiated a private sector driven fundraising activity and appointed a committee to guard these funds and implement it in such a way that it will bring succor to victims of terrorism, particularly in the Northeast. So the committee was set up under the chairmanship of General Danjuma and um, they were set up, among other things, to raise funds for the support of the victims, to determine who the victims are, to determine how they have been affected, the nature of support they will require to administer the support. That committee raised the funds and in its wisdom, set up the Nigerian Foundation for the Support of Victims of Insurgency. That foundation is what we today call the Victim Support Fund. There were many issues to be faced. To tackle these issues and create a lasting solution, Victim Support Fund, through collaboration and partnership with state and non-state actors, designed a carefully laid out plan to impact the most vulnerable it was critical to focus on four thematic areas of livelihood and recovery, education and protection, reconstruction and infrastructural development, and finally, research and peace building. For displaced community members returning home, there were challenges. What to do, how to feed, and where to sleep. The livelihood and recovery strategy is a shift from the dependency on aid support system and charity to self-reliance. The purpose is to improve the lives and resources for households and to sustain community-driven ventures for men and women. Among the several victims of insurgency are widows and vulnerable women. Most of these women had lost their benefactors. They now provide for themselves and their children. Concerned for these indigent women, VSF, through its program, built the capacity of women through cash support for their small businesses. <laughs> Anzo an ne mi masu karamin karfi suka ce za su taimaka mana aka tara mu to catalyze economic growth and provide succor VSF gave 20,000 women entrepreneurs across the three most affected states between 20 and 30,000 naira each as added business capital the results have been remarkable cikin duba irin din ai a cikin ai sarin kaya muka da su muke sayarwa ba to a cikin zan samu riba na uwar kudin tana zaman ta muna sa a dahi da riba kuma ga shi muna cin abinci a ciki to ga shi na buka na zo na gida gina na na samu daki daya na kwano na buga kwano ina samu riba in kaya cikin sati su zaka samu dubunka ko da 500 haka to kaga ai ya taimake ka in kana zaune haka fa laka samu ne the women are formed into savings and loans associations as their businesses grew to encourage savings and to strengthen the revenue generation base of their communities. So da suka zo duba mu kuma Allah ya kiyaye hanya su ma Allah ya ba su. Nasu Allah sa albarka mun gode wa Allah. For Nigerians in rural areas, agriculture is living. Food security above all else is key to a stable society. Especially in Boko Haram ravaged states, farms had been left untended as farmers had to flee their communities. 
Victims Support Fund's agro-based intervention is contributing to food security and livelihood for returning community dwellers. Temukon Victims Support Foundation na mu fara noman su albasa shi yasa kuka gan yanzu mu yi dan albasa anan domin mu samu cin gaba mu taimake ƴaƴan mu da kuma mu taimake wa'ansu daga cikin mu wa'anda suna da damuwoyi the victim support fund also has a monitoring capability that it deploys to ensure that all those that have been helped or assisted with items from the VSF are tracked to see how far it has helped them and what kind of productivity has been happening since that help was rendered. It is gratifying to note that we've been able to recover, to record bumper harvest in several parts of the Northeast due to the VSF's agricultural intervention. With over 17,000 farmers benefiting from the agro-based intervention in VSF's focal states, there's a feeling of widespread optimism. But VSF is already looking into the future. I'm not touching Hankali. Walk a harem since she walked a little. Suka Kashi Mutani, and then Suka Kashi Migidana, says Suka Bani Dayara. I'm mad and Ziazar and Bayan. There are several families like Zueras. A sudden loss of their source of income meant powerlessness. VSF, through advocacy to community leaders, provided empowerment through livestock farming. So, ita wana VSF. Ita teme angua yadu yete mu sinati yamuka amutani. The provision of livelihood items to the returnees, especially the small ruminant animal, the agricultural kids, have been provided to our people. And they have been coming here for monitoring from time to time. Nobody will phantom that a local NGO can do this scale of work. No international NGO has infected like this. So the BSF is a good one. God is a good one. The BSF is a good one. The This is Mohammed Gambu, an orphan. He lives with Batul Mohammed, a foster caregiver. VSF, through its foster care program, has assisted in the reintegration of orphans, unaccompanied and separated children back into their communities. The system provides even more support for these children where they are. It ensures that they are properly cared for in their communities amongst the people they know. I'm a fellow local government governor. Mena da foster parent the reader go ma shashira. I want the community katay mena da foster care kamang ashirende shira wa endosuka samuan ntelefi. The kinship approach was adopted to fast track the recovery process of these vulnerable children who are mostly reunited with their relatives. Across VSF's focal states, Families like Batuls are supported with monthly stipends to cater for the entire household. When the Nina Kija Goranta Posta Abanang, when the Anna Samu could eat Nera Dubu Goma Shabir, when Sunera Dubu Aisharum, a co and Nevata, a co and water Anna Bang Dubu Goma Shabir. Baba Abunda Aikioso, 
ya rasu ci gaba da zuwa makaranta farkon abin da muka yi ma bayan dauka kudi na farko shine tabbatar da cewa yaro ya tafi makaranta ni da kaina ma ya kai yara hudu ko biyar da na kai su secondary school junior secondary school yanzu aka suna samu karatu saboda tallafin da victim support fund tai musu na girma malami nake so in zama zama na da yan uwa na ina jin dadi ina jin dadi sosai suna ban kuma abin da nake so ina jin dadi abin da zan gaya mutanen da suke tallafa mun wallahi mun gode musu Allah musu albarka Allah ya dauka ka su Allah ya kara musu wani babban muhimmancin da yafi na da in wannan dai ba abin da zamu yi cewa victim support fund sai dai Allah ya sa su ci gaba da irin wayan abubuwan da suke yi a tallafi na makarantu da na yara na taimakon kudin da yanzu When we started this game in 2015 of course we had a lot of our challenges we had nowhere to run to the federal government was doing its best the state government was equally uh, contributing but uh, we we felt we needed more more helping hands then with the coming of the, the VSF then we realized yes that at least a step down of fatherly help has come Habiba Abdullahi and Hafsat Ba Musa had to flee their homes in Yobe state for Gombe state after repeated raids by Boko Haram they are at Gombe specialist hospital for treatment a lokacin ciwon yana yawan buguna in ciwon ne bige ni ba sai inda nake ba baiwar allan nan ita ke tsaye a kaina ko ba haka ba na rasa tace ki je asibiti na ce mata ba ne da kudin zuwa asibiti na je anguwa ma sai aka tu aka yara suka gudu suka je suka ce ai an erki ta shi ta ji gike muka to shine muka dauka muka kai ta asibiti mu ba mu yi tsammani ma za ta yi dai ba da ikon Allah to support the state government's effort VSF provided grants to hospitals to improve their capacity to treat victims and procure drugs and other medical consumables needed for the treatment and care of victims of insurgency the grants were initially for the treatment of bomb blast and armed attack victims but later attended to all complaints this system seeks to alleviate the challenges faced by existing hospitals and health facilities in the three most affected states among the vsf supported hospitals is the university of meduguri teaching hospital victims of insurgency often need emergency health care but the cost can be a burden 16th january 2017 myself my son and also brother in law became a victim of a bomb blast ina ina sai na kalla sama sai na kalla wani abu ja a sama ne na kalla na abu ja a sama sai na ji karan bomb mu bi biyu ne sun rasu amma mu biyu ne muka ji ci So after the blast we were taken to teaching hospital that is UMTH Between 2015 to date okay. all patients of bomb blast or gun shots from insurgents were treated using funds provided by the victim support funds BSF is the single biggest donor to be victim of insurgency in University of Medical Teacher Hospital. Ni na samu lafiya yanzu kan ina jin dadi. Mana gode Allah saka da alkhairi. One of the areas most hit by Boko Haram was schools. Boko Haram destroyed several school facilities in the three most affected states, 
and effectively shut schools down. Teachers could not teach, but most importantly, children could not learn. To fast track this process, VSF are providing quality classroom facilities and learning materials essential for effective learning to children enrolled into schools. The foundation, uh, which is led by an executive director, has been uh, very active in the Northeast in provision of schools. Uh, uh, several primary schools were recovered. We are in 2018 adding 74,000 children to the beneficiaries. And for these nearly 200,000 children, we provide the books they require, we provide all the writing materials they require, we provide them with the school bags they require, we provide school sandals, and virtually everything that they require. You see all my peoples are having the VSF bag, VSF shoes, all the writing materials. Gaskia sina kamuna te moko de dama a gaskia sun tallafa mana da ba mu da su takalma su je ka sun kamuna tallafi iya ka saboda ka mun gode Idan na girma ina so in zama iya bus in na ga makaranta ina so in zama likita With this type of intervention we are very very grateful and as time goes on Education will be uplifted by the grace of God. Putting the bags on the backs of these girls and boys today and seeing the smile in their faces and seeing the opportunities that this may create for them, the opportunities and the facility, really, it's a rewarding experience. So we now agreed, okay, we will start small. Uh, let's see what kind of package can we put together for children to go back to school. Now, teachers and pupils returning to school was one thing. Qualitative teaching through best practices was another. VSF sought to improve access to quality education by building the capacity of teachers. You throw the ball to anybody, preferably somebody you don't know. We are believing that when the teachers are reminded of their roles as teachers also, we will be able to be bringing up some suko in the communities in which the classroom teachers will be trained in the three states. down, our market was burnt down, and a lot of people's houses were tossed, a lot of people, more than 100 people were killed in this program. The condition of the school when I came, it was nothing to write home about. No windows, when rain is falling, you see rain falling on top of students. Even teachers doesn't have where to stay, no toilets. To ease the burden of reconstruction after the Boko Haram onslaught, Victim Support Fund commends the reconstruction, renovation, and rebuilding of public infrastructure in the worst hit states. The first team I received as chairman in this local government was the team from the BSF. All other departments, except the administration below which the state government built, all other departments, actually treasury works and the former admin, were totally reconstructed by the victim support fund. I, I, I feel some sort of hope with the work that the victim support fund has done. Just a few weeks ago, we were in Takum in Taraba State, uh, about four hours drive from Jalingo to commission one of the very, you know, the schools that is very significant in history. We rebuilt it, made it a, it's now the International Model Secondary School and School of Preliminary and Remedial Studies in Takum, the very best in the North, and by far the very best in the Northeast. This school is yours. 
What is your human treasure? What is yours? You must protect. They started with the administrative block. Where I am now, they built it. From there, they keep on moving. They keep on moving. Now it looks very beautiful. The population of the students that we're getting in this school now is getting higher just because of the attraction of the building that the Victim Support Fund constructed for us. The new classrooms are better than the old ones. Before we are feeling the heat, but now they connect electric and we're having fun. We don't have a road here, but now they have created a road for us. VSF also engaged in providing water, sanitation, and hygiene, as well as facilities in construction sites in the three most affected states. In three local government areas of Borno State, namely Goza in southern Borno, Ngala in Borno Central, and Mobar in northern Borno, basically almost all schools in these three locations headquarters were rebuilt, were rehabilitated in this village, including the hospitals. The intervention is worth about 1.7 billion naira. Extensive reconstruction of 169 destroyed government facilities that included local government secretariats, primary and secondary schools, health facilities, police stations, and more were carried out across Adamawa, Borno, Benue, Taraba and Yobe states, thus promoting a resumption of normalcy and a stable society. Abba, very proud. Anybody that comes to my office will give me. They say, Madam, your office is good. At the very epicenter of our work, is a lot of data collection, data sorting, data analysis, which informs our ultimate decision-making processes. The importance of reliable data and information on insurgency and humanitarian situations in the Northeast cannot be overemphasized. A perfect system of data generation and aggregation in an accessible database that is regularly updated makes easy detection of emerging trends in affected communities. This allows VSF to tailor suit its interventions to the primary beneficiaries. We're also working very closely with the Nigerian Defense Academy in Kaduna to do um, to on extensive research on counter-terrorism issues so that we can know how to use, you know, um, a mixture of academic knowledge and practical know-how to be able to tackle these issues and ensure sustainability of our um, interventions. With the goal of strengthening social cohesion in insurgency affected communities, especially with return to normalcy in affected communities and the restoration of public damage structures, the VSF Peace Project was conceived to address issues of conflict and work towards community reconciliation, reintegration and peace recovery through peace building advocacy. One of the key areas we focus on is on the living together between the two different religions, especially Christianity and Islam. So we are working with religious leaders in this area. Uh, we are also supporting that with what we call peace education. That means that we are working with the children in school and the teachers to now see how can we begin to teach children the culture of peace and of living with one another. How can we teach tolerance using some of the local value systems within the community? With VSF's contributions to government efforts, there is a renewed sense of optimism. Our vision of rebuilding lives and restoring hope is gaining momentum. Widows, orphans, school children, farmers and the ill all find soccer. From Gaidam to Askira, Madagali to Takun, 
our communities are re-energized. VSF's impact is felt by all. You can't, you can't help but feel good about yourself about the work you are doing. Our hope is that the sad situation that gave birth to us will come to an end very quickly. Nigerians who gave every kobo that we are spending, that we are using, will see that VSF has effectively delivered. I know for a fact that uh, of all the intervening agencies that have intervened in the North, and I do not take out the international NGOs, none has done and has put as much impact in the people as the Victim Support Fund. So, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say that